Hey what's up guys this is Sonip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot OMRG and Windows 10 or 11. So this is an updated video to previous. Now OMRG uses Lamine as bootloader and BTRF as file partition. So this is the updated guide. So let's start the video. So first of all download the Arch Linux ISO file and then Rufus to make a bootable USB of Arch Linux and after that click on omarchi.org go to omarchi.org and go to the manual and you will see the instructions for the installation of omarchi using the arch install so we're going to follow these steps now after that close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and use Rufus to make a bootable USB so since I've already done that I'm not going to do it again after that you need to make a at least 50 GB of free space for OMRG. Now right click on your start menu and open disk management. Select your local disk C and select shrink volume. Now I'm going to give 60 GB free space for the sake of this video. Now let's reboot and boot into Arch Linux ISO. So finally we have put it into the Arch Linux ISO file. So let me first increase the font by typing set font D. Now let's connect to Wi-Fi network. So if you are using Ethernet you don't have to do this. So type IWCTL and type device list. So as you can see my Wi-Fi card name is WLAN0 so I'm going to type station WLAN0 connect and then my Wi-Fi name so you need to know your Wi-Fi name and after that type your Wi-Fi password after that type quit to exit IWCTL now type LSPLK to see your drives so in my case my drive is 256 GB SSD and its name is NVMe0N1 so I'm going to type cf disk slash h slash NVMe0N1 to partition the drive so here is my free space which is created earlier so I'm going to select it and create a 1 GB EFI partition so set the type as EFI system now you can use the remaining free space as the Linux file system which will be our root partition and please remember the device block numbers for these two new partitions so as you can see mine is slash dev slash 0 and 1 and we have 0 and 1 p4 and p5 so after that select write and type yes and quit now you need to format the So you need to format the EFI partition as FAT and root as BTRFS. So type mtfs.fat dash f32 slash dev slash your uh, EFI partition block number. So in my case it is nvme0 and one p4. So yours may be different. So please type according to your system. And after that you need to format the Linux system as btrfs so I'm going to type mkfs.btrfs and then the root partition block number now let's mount these partitions so we need to mount the root partition in slash mnt so type slash dev slash nvme 0 and 1 p5 which is the root partition block number into slash mnt now we need to make boot directory inside mnt so type mtdir slash mnt slash boot now we need to mount the efi partition into boot so type the ef type this command so slash dev slash your EFI partition block number and then slash mnt slash boot and after that 
let's install the arch linux using the arch install command so first type pacman ssy to synchronize the database and after that pacman s arch linux dash keyring to download the latest keyring after that let's use arch install so i'm going to type arch install so you can leave these first few options as it is and after that go into the disk configuration and then partitioning and select pre-mounted configuration so we mounted root directory in slash mnt so i'm going to type slash mnt here after that you don't need any description if you don't want and go back so make sure that swap and zram is enabled now for the bootloader choose this line and after that for hostname you can leave it on arch linux and for authentication you need to set your root password and after that set your user account so i'm going to set a user account and then set password and make sure this is sudo so confirm and exit go back now for profile select type and select minimal now go back now you can choose bluetooth And for audio, use pipe wire. Go back. So you can leave the kernel as default. And for the network configuration, choose the option which says copy ISO configuration to installation. And then for additional packages, you can choose any additional package you want. So and after that you can leave the options as it is and click on install. So this process will take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. Okay so finally this installation is complete now let's check reboot system. Now while your computer is rebooting go to the BIOS menu by pressing the F2 key and set the boot priority to Arch Linux so this is the Arch Linux Lime bootloader so set its priority and save and exit so that it will automatically boot into Arch So we have two options here so first option is which we are choosing so let's log in using our system I'm going to increase the font first now let's check if we are connected to internet so as you can see we are connected to internet so after that we need to download some packages first so type pacman ss we need to download git curl and our text editor so once we have that packages let's install omrg using this command so type curl dash small f small s capital s capital l https colon forward slash omrg dot org slash install and then pipe symbol which is the long straight line and then type bash now this will install omrg from the official repo also this process may take some time so i'm going to fast forward this part
so finally the OMRT installation is complete now let's reboot and check if it is working or not So here we have the option to boot into OMRG. So let's boot into OMRG. Now we are going to add Windows option after we boot into OMRG. So we have some key bindings for OMRG. So let's fix our windows first. So now let's add windows entry to our Lamine bootloader. So for that open terminal using the windows key and enter. And here. So here type the command sudo lsblk. Now you need to take the note of the windows EFI partition block number. So as you can see this is my drive where windows is installed which is 256 USSD and it is usually the first partition where the windows bootloader is installed. So in my case it is nvme1 and one p one so please take a note of this number somewhere and after that let's edit the lamine configuration which is located in slash boot slash lamine so type sudo nano slash boot slash lamine dot con so as you can see this is the entry for omrg now let's add windows entry right here so type slash windows and then right here we are going to type protocol and you need to set the protocol as EFI and for that path you need to set UUID and then round brackets and inside the round brackets you need to type the UUID for the windows EFI partition so type control T and type PLKID slash tape slash and then your EFI windows EFI partition block number which in my case was nvme1 n1 p1 <coughs> so you need to take a note of this part UUID which is at the last so you need to select this ID by holding the shift and then arrow key and then press control plus K to cut it and inside this bracket you need to paste the ID by pressing control plus U and make sure to remove these quotes so that only the numbers are present inside the brackets and remove this line by pressing control K and after that type colon and then forward slash EFI all capitals forward slash Microsoft with M capital slash boot with b capital forward slash and then all lowercase boot mgfw dot efi so it should be like this your part uid might be different so type your partition uid accordingly otherwise the rest of this should be exactly like this so after that press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl x to exit now let's type reboot to check and boot into windows so you will see a new windows option right here at the bootloader selection so let's boot into windows
so as you can see we are also able to boot into windows alongside omrg installation so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe thank you